I wanted to do this video, particular video broadcast on a needless tendency to worry. And, you know, one trial that God never expects us to carry, that he won't give us the grace to handle, is fretting or trying to figure out the future. Jesus is not going to give us grace to bear a load he has already commanded us not to touch in our minds to begin with. Some Christians who are living under worry will find themselves drained and unable to replenish or find new strength. And it's not God's word that has failed. It does promise I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. But Christ gives us strength to handle the things he has called us to carry, not the ones he has called us to leave us leave alone, not the loads he has called us to not touch. And Jesus taught about, you know, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink or what you will wear. Jesus was taught, teaching about do not worry about the future, basically. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. And if Jesus said not to worry, it's obviously a command of God. So why would God give us grace to handle a burden he has called us not to pick up to begin with? Uh, God could often say, I have not asked you to figure out my plan. I asked you to trust and obey me one day at a time. Our burdens, some burdens that we choose to carry are truly, totally optional. Worry is an optional burden. We cannot avoid all pressing challenges in life temptations that come, trials or hardships that come, persecution may come, and losses may come, yet we lose our peace by fretting, and you will not, you will not find worry and fear a burden that Christ has called us to carry. That is something we choose to create inside our own heads. It's a needless burden. It's a needless bundle we carry around with us. And we choose to lose so much of the peace of the Lord and his joy in doing so. A person's worry alone can take a good time in life and make it into a hard time in life, like a hypochondriac that makes everything a matter of life or death. You know these people, they may rip off a toenail and act like they are going to bleed to death if they do not go to the emergency room. We've all known people like that. We've all known people that make small things, huge health emergencies. I'm sure we've all heard stories. I've heard some pretty wacky stories. A friend of mine was telling me about a woman who uh, had a simple nosebleed and she called 911. She called emergency services over a nosebleed. You know, that's, that's, that's so often what worry can do to us. It can make us act irrational. It can make us lose any enjoyment of life we actually have. Worry makes us like that. It turns, us, turns even small things into big problems. They do not have to be. And we lose so much joy and peace doing that. We are called to trust God and not try to figure things out. How do we do that? Sometimes we just got to choose to shut our minds off and say, you know, I'm not going to think too much ahead at all. I'm just going to focus one day at a time. What has God called me to do today? What am I supposed to do today? I'm going to let tomorrow figure itself out. Jesus said, each day has enough trouble of its own. You know, if we want to really make our lives complicated, we're going to worry about tomorrow's troubles today while still handling today's challenges today. Now that is like borrowing added weight that we are not supposed to carry for today. God gives us grace to handle what he calls us to handle, not what we're not supposed to. It says, no temptation has overtaken you that is not uncommon to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape so that you may be able to endure it. But God's not going to give you grace to endure something he's called you not to touch or handle. So many Christians, you know, make the mistake, and I have throughout my life, if, you know, the Lord's not going to really keep you from falling into temptation if you put yourself in temptation on purpose. You know, that's, that's uh, 
God's not going to give you grace, per se, to handle something he's told you to avoid. And worry is one of those things that he wants us to avoid entirely. And I hope you found this message encouraging. God bless.